Audit TJ and today in my video I'm gonna show you a small tip for uh, reducing your program or sometimes it can make your program run smoother by applying the circular interpolation on the YZ plane or maybe sometime you can apply this you can use it on the X and Z plane okay and here's a part I use for the demonstration very very simple part and you can see how it works I have a tapper surface here with the radius 5 in the small end and radius 10 in the large end here yes when you look on the top it looks like this and when you look on the side it's look like this you can see easy a tapper a corn surface okay and for this part I'm gonna show you the direction I want a machine I want to do uh, something like parallel or raster on this direction like this I'm gonna show you <clears throat> yeah you can see this is the direction I, I want to use for machining is the, the slide of the cut and is you can see it stay parallel to the Y and Z plane and that's why we can apply the circular interpolation okay and okay and you can see the direction in our 90 degree if we apply a parallel tool path okay and now I'm gonna create a finished tool pad. For simple, we can use a traditional parallel tool pad and gonna select the surface. Okay. Uh, I will cut this surface with the a millimeter ball mill and. For the step over, I will leave it about one or two millimeter for. It's easy for you to see. Okay, and the torrent value is now zero point zero two. And the cutting method is exact. Okay. Let's see. Oh, sorry, I forgot to change the direction of the cut. The machining angle should be 90 degree. So we have all slices stay parallel to the Y and Z plane. Yes, the purple is all the slide of cut. It have to be parallel to the Y and Z plane. Okay, let's look like this. And here is the tool. And it's going to cut like this. You can see this is the cutting direction parallel to YZ plane like this because I input the step over 2 millimeters so it, it look quite big just for easy to see okay and we can take a a close look here you can see on this tool pad we have not applied the circular interpolation and you can see we have a lot very small move this is the the linear interpolation not circular you can see we have so many small move and this is G1 not G2 or G3 this is linear interpolation and it depend on the tolerant the tolerant we use in this case 0.25 or oh, sorry 0 0.025 and we have it's not a it's not a closed torrent so we this tool pad is quite rough so you can see now the the size of the program is about 250 kilobytes and I'm gonna reduce this torrent value for to uh, to increase the surface quality so now I'm gonna use 
0.001 or 1 micron torrent and now we can see the move is smaller smaller you can see this is linear feed that means this more small movie is is not circular it's just a very very small linear move okay and when we reduce the torrent is the calculation is more accurate and the surface quality is better but you can see because of the the number of the move we have now the the size of the tool pad is about more than 1000 kilobyte and when I reduce this step over about 0 0.2 let's see how we get yes and it's a significant increasing of the size of the, the program now you can see more than 10,000 kilobyte for the program this tool pad we have not applied circular interpolation on the Y and Z plane. Now I, I, I try exporting the program so you can see. All right. Desktop and I name it G19 not apply. Okay. Let's see. Yes, take a uh, take a while for exporting the program you can see how heavy how large is the program okay it's done whoa okay I do the back plot you can see we have a lot of G1 move okay G1 here and we have a lot of linear interpolation yes a lot of block a lot of NC block and this can be a problem is if we use a old machine with old control yeah I don't think it's a problem with a new machine and new control but when we use something very old like the FANUC um, yes old FANUC control this can be a problem because you have too many block here and for the old machine old control you have the transferring rate is quite low you cannot uh, put too much data to the machine in a short time and so many block may cause problem your machine cannot run fast because it ha it has to reach so many block like this so you cannot run it fast and okay so this the first tool pad we have not applied the circular interpolation okay and the second tool pad I copy a new one I copy it and pass it a new one and now we do some tip we do some adjustment here adjustment adjustment for the step over we keep the same the machining angle we keep the same and for the total torrent we keep the same we just hit the total the total torrent button and we do some adjustment here there's one thing called the line R filter setting okay and you click on this to activate it if you want to know what this means you just click on the help button here and I think master cam will explain everything they will explain everything okay so when I activate this setting you can see we have some option G17, G18 and G19 these, these allow you to uh, export the circular move on the XZ and the YZ plane on this case I want to export the circular move on the YZ plane so I, uh, I click on this option okay and you have to remember to 
pull this bar around 50 50 I think this is okay and we keep the total tolerance and we have some tolerance for um, doing the, the filter for the arc generation okay and you can see we have the torrent keep the same 1000 oh, sorry 1 micron and we generate it again boom 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 yeah you can see the difference this one more than uh, 10,000 kilobyte but this one only uh, more than 300 kilobyte is a huge difference because we apply the circular interpolation you can see from here to here just one block from here to here one G2 block and you can see this is the arc not not uh, linear anymore okay that's why you can reduce uh, the size of the program a lot you can see we have one block for one slide like this circular interpolation circular 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 that's why it, it not take so much memory okay and we try to post it Chew. no and now I post this G19 apply it all right and this is a new program I try to back plot it and you see now we have G3 and G2 for circular interpolation and there's one thing here we have G19 for selecting the Y and Z uh, plane yes and you can see choo, choo. more from uh, last okay. okay I think there's something with this sim code I will try to pause it uh, on the radius so you can easy to see the difference oh sorry radius radius a machine I want to change the pause processor so we ex it will export the radius instead of um, J and K okay I want to use radius and I don't want to break the arc okay and we pause it again okay I'm gonna pause it again uh, no G19 So you can see now we have uh, Z3 and Z2 in with radius, okay, and it's now easy to see, and the sim code is uh, understand it. You can see we only have we need only one block for one slide, one block for one slide, and this go very fast like this. But for this one, it take a lot of block. We need about uh, I don't know how how many block it need for one slide, but there's a lot but look at this one we have one block for one slide one block for one slide like this yeah very fast and especially for the old machine this method can make your program more smooth and yeah reduce the the size of the program a lot So maybe you can transfer all the program to the machine instead of using the DNC or uh, other transferring method. All right, and you you can also select one way or or zigzag 
depend on how how you want to cut. This is one way, like this. And this is uh, conventional milling. If you want to do some clam milling, you just change the start point, and we got clam milling. Okay, like this. This is clam milling. And we do one way. We pause it again. Yes, this is a new program is still using a circular interpolation. But now it's cutting in one way. Is it clam milling? using this technique and this is a very very old machine but it cut quite smooth okay so that's the trick for today it's not a not so complex I think many people know about it but I just want to show you for those who who never heard about it and uh, maybe in the future sometime you see some some park like this some surface like this and you can apply this technique and I think it is quite interesting okay all right thank you for watching and goodbye for now